Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we're doing a lesson on naming polygons. So we've had a lesson already about what polygons are. Now we're going to actually name some polygons and learn a little bit about different types of polygons. Quick recap before we get started. A polygon is a closed figure with straight edges, and each vertex has only two sides meaning at it. So here are some examples of different shapes. But this one here is open, so it's not a closed figure. This one here has a curved edge. And this one here crosses over, so those three, as we talked about in the polygon lesson, are not polygons. This one here is an example of a polygon. We'll actually classify that polygon today. Um, so our polygons can be classified by sides. They're known as equilateral polygons if the side lengths are all the same and equiangular polygons if the angle measurements are all the same. All right. The third type of polygon is the type where the angle measurements are the same and the side lengths are the same, and those ones we call regular polygons. And just going through that really quickly as a brief overview for what polygons are and classifying them by the side length, the angle measurement, and then their regular polygons if they're both the side lengths are congruent and also the angle measurements are congruent. That's all covered in the other lesson on introdu introducing polygons. That's why I kind of rushed over this. But what we're going to do mainly in this lesson is talk about the names of different types of polygons. So polygons are named by the number of sides that they have. A three-sided polygon is called a triangle. Oftentimes we remember this thinking about a tricycle or a um, triceratops or other words that start with tri. Tri is kind of a universal prefix for three. All right? So this triangle has three angles. It also has three sides. All right? Most of us are familiar with triangles, but there's a couple of pictures just to give you some examples. Any three-sided polygon is called a triangle quadrilaterals, and again, sometimes we've heard this prefix quad before. Maybe we're talking about um, taking your quad out for a spin. That's a four-wheeler, right? So a quad has four wheels. Um, we also use that um, in other ways, but quadrilateral would be a polygon with four sides. Here are some examples. There's lots of different polygons with four sides. There's a square and a rectangle. There's a diamond or a kite. Um, I think this is also a rhombus. Um, if the side lengths are all congruent, then that's a rhombus. This is a par parallelogram, uh, trapezoid, and then here I just made a random quadrilateral shape. I don't know, like a sideways Star Trek some more or something. I don't know. Um, but these are examples of quadrilaterals. Not really needing to know all the names of them, but just so that you're familiar with that a four-sided figure can take lots of different shapes. And those are some examples there. A pentagon is a five-sided polygon. Um, as you can see, there they come in all sorts of different shapes as well. Um, any polygon with five sides, you can count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. This one here looks like a really odd polygon. We don't usually think of polygons shaped like that. Here's one shape, kind of like a house, and then here's the polygon that we normally see is usually shaped like this. Um, and this pentagon here um, that we're seeing there, we often think about that one when we hear the pentagon, because it's a building that's shaped like that. It has five sides, right? Five-sided figure, pentagon. Okay, so there we go. A hexagon. For me personally, I think of the when I think of a hexagon, I think of, um, I have a set of Allen wrenches, or they're called hex wrenches. They're six-sided, um, like screwdriver type things. Okay, So if you have a hex key or a, um, an Allen key, and you've seen those, those are shaped like, um, not really like any of these actually, kind of like this one, only squished in a little bit. Those are regular hexagons. Um, but there are some examples of, of hexagons here. So these ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, have six sides. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't matter if they're concave, convex. This is concave. If they cave into itself, convex means all of the angles kind of pop outward. But both ways, they are hexagons if they've got six sides. The next one is a heptagon, a seven-sided, there, let me just highlight that, hepta, seven-sided polygon. So you can count the side lengths, one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's seven. It's kind of a funky looking one there. Um, these ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Again, any seven-sided polygon is going to be called a heptagon. Octagon, we're typically familiar with the one that looks a lot like that. That looks like a stop sign, right? But any octagon has eight sides, so we can count those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right? We can look at different shaped octagons, and then this one here I created is kind of funky looking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sides. Any polygon with eight sides is called an octagon. The nine-sided, oh, let's talk about octa real quick. Again, a universal prefix for eight. Octa, like an octopus, we think of, right? That helps you to remember the eight-sided polygon. And a nonagon, nonagon, the non is Again, a prefix for nine. Um, there's not nonagons aren't used very often. Um, in fact, I had to draw both of these. I, there wasn't really a way to draw a nice, easy nonagon except to just kind of throw lines all over the place. Um, nonagons very not really a popular shape, um, but there we have it. A couple of examples with the sides one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Or in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the top line would be our ninth line, not a good one. And our last shape we're going to talk about, the last, is a decagon. And deca or desa is often used for meaning ten, all right, like a decameter or decimeter um, when you're measuring a metric. Also, um, we use that for like a decade, 10 years. All right. So dec or des 10, and that would be our 10 sided figures 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And these ones also have 10 sides. So just a quick recap on what all of those figures are so we can have a list here. The three sided is a triangle, four sided is a quadrilateral. Five-sided would be a pentagon. Six-sided is a hexagon. There's a nice regular hexagon here. That's more like the shape of um, our hex key. Seven sides would be our heptagon. Eight sides is an octagon. Nine sides, nonagon. And ten sides, decagon. So there's a quick list for you with some examples. And that is all for this lesson on naming polygons.